Published in 1850, Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter is an American literary classic that is picked over by high school students every year. It details the life of Hester Prynne, who conceives a daughter outside of wedlock, is publicly shamed, and attempts to live a life of penitence and dignity. The book is generally classified as historical fiction or romance, and it is undoubtedly a classic. The longevity and success of The Scarlet Letter hinges on Hawthorne's use of plausible and believable characters. The cast is led by Hester Prynne, a strong-willed, free-thinking, and passionate young woman. At the start, she is humiliated and alienated by the townsfolk, but as the story progresses, she goes from being the town's shame to being embraced by it. Hawthorne writes, the townsfolk said that the letter meant Abel. So strong was Hester Prynne with a woman's strength. She sympathizes with the poor, bringing them food and clothing. She transitions from a rebellious figure to a grandmotherly figure. Hester is a plausible figure because during the course of the novel or film, she matures. She starts out as an inexperienced and unaware young adult, but by being forced to confront what the Puritans considered a mistake. She eventually achieves respectability. Arthur Dimsdale is the father of Hester's illegitimate child and the young single pastor of the local church. Over the course of the story, Dimsdale is tormented by guilt, something that would not have been uncommon for someone in this situation in a Puritan community. But this goes one step further. Being a pastor, Dimsdale would have realized the enormity of the situation. Dimsdale's inability to process this situation eventually results in illness and finally death. The stress that Dimsdale experiences and his body's physical reaction are both plausible and believable. The other male in Hawthorne's tale is Roger Chillingsworth. Just in case the name didn't give it away, he is the personage of evil in the tale, and he is also Hester's husband. Chillingworth spends the majority of the story seeking revenge against his wife's seducer. This is only natural since he was wronged in such an intimate way. This even goes so far that when Dimsdale dies, Chillingworth cries, You have escaped me. This singular ambition is also believable because this is one of the characteristics of a strong, driven personality. Last, but certainly not least, is Hester's daughter, Pearl. As a typical, curious child, Pearl constantly draws attention to her mother's A. Like all children, she asks questions, including ones about her father. As the manifestation of her mother's sin, Pearl becomes wise beyond her years and quickly discerns the relationship between her father, Dimsdale, and mother. This again makes her believable, as any child stuck in this sort of situation would begin to discern the truth. Even Pearl's name makes her believable. Being set in a Puritan community, Pearl would need to be biblical, and in fact it is. It derives from Matthew. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. Like any good author, Hawthorne sets the time and place and chooses a name which fits with both. This goes one step further, however, because the merchant and Hester both lose everything for a pearl. Hawthorne's characters are believable. They fit the time and place of the author's story. But what they aren't is realistic. What Hawthorne has done is captured genuine human qualities and developed them to the point that they engulf those characters completely thus becoming the very essence of the characters. Thank you all for watching. This video stemmed from an essay I did in high school. It was generally well received, however, I never intended on releasing it. The Scarlet Letter is generally well picked over, and frankly, I didn't think I had anything to add to the discussion. But I remembered this version featuring John Hurt, and with his recent passing, everything just kind of lined up. This seemed like a good way to bring awareness to one of his lesser known works. I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe.